Hey guys, today I'm speaking with Martin, software developer remotely working from Malaga here in Spain. Hi Martin, how are you? Hello Sandra, I'm very, very good, thank you. In this corona situation, we yeah. are both locked up, you know guys. Uh, I'm sitting in Benaharaf that is very close to Malaga and uh, yeah, Martin is sitting in Malaga, south of Spain, and we are currently in a quarantine situation since four weeks right now, actually. So it's very strange for all of us. Obviously, we can't meet personally, but we are kind of used to it in our work situation, in our daily life. There's not so much changing, to be honest, only our free time, obviously, because normally Martin and me are going to a running group. So just a side information. So Martin and me know each other a little bit longer right now since we, we are here in the south of Spain. But I know from you as well that you are originally from Argentina. So how come, Martin, that you made your way here to Spain? What was your journey? Uh, yeah, it was a, a long journey. Uh, I born in Argentina, yeah, that's right. But I lived um, my entire life in, in Chile. Then I met a girl and trying to find a way to move to Spain. And here I am. <laughs> Where did you met her? Uh, traveling in Croatia, in Splits. Oh, very It's a very nice, very nice city. Um, but what, how was it possible for you to travel all the time? How many months did you travel in total? Uh, I traveled only two months. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, it was with my savings in, in the beginning. Oh, but really? then when I realized that I want to work uh, in Europe or be in Europe, uh, I need to find a way to work remotely or find a way to get money online. So mm -hmm. I find uh, a very interesting and um, now is trending uh, about the e-commerce industry. Uh, okay. So I start a company in Chile about uh, selling stuff online and trying to manage uh, uh, remotely. Mm -hmm. And when did you start this? In which year? Just to uh, uh, that. I started like uh, three years ago, like a mm -hmm. September of 2017 or something mm -hmm. like that. And what exactly did you do there in the e-commerce area? Uh, in the beginning was uh, trying to understand how to sell online or how to make a, a nice platform to sell things. So after a while, I realized that the best option is uh, using Shopify. Uh, this is uh, the yeah. credit platform to, to easy, very easy to use. And then I started um, building my business around uh, using this platform to sell online. And after like uh, three, four months, uh, I started working very, very good. And that is the beginning of my traveling around Europe. Great. Uh, for a while, I tried to encourage uh, more people to use the platform. So I'm trying to, I, I am uh, building a, a course online to show oh. people how to handle Shopify the more professional way. Oh, that's interesting. When yeah, did you start are. that? And that I started in December of the last year. Uh, so right. like uh, three, four months ago, uh, I need to start recording uh, new things because the, the people ask me for more content. So I need to focus on that too. Great. You started an online course. I even didn't know that. Um, so you are recording like every day some sessions or how can I imagine this, this work? How uh, the idea was like uh, recording something regularly, but uh, after changing different jobs and trying to start different business, it's not so regular, but uh, every month I try to upload uh, some new content to YouTube Great. or Great. different platform like a LinkedIn or Facebook. It's a lot of so, work, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, when it's like everything, if you start something new for first time, you take ton of time to 
find the right script, uh, record the, all the the video and hours of editing because you can find the it's it's hard every every time you start something is hard in the beginning but when you have been doing it for very uh, quiet times uh, every time is more easy so you need to mm -hmm. keep going and in spain here uh you are living like i think uh over over a year right now or? uh one year and half i think uh yeah more mm -hmm. than maybe mm -hmm. 20 months and like that I live it uh, one year in Granada. That is a city close to Malaga. I was studying a master there about uh, business and uh, technology. So mm -hmm. it was very interesting in the beginning. Then I moved to Malaga because they have more opportunity to, to find jobs. Um, mm -hmm. But I found a job uh, remotely. So it's quite uh, the same yeah, okay. in Granada. Can you explain uh, the situation of looking for a job in Malaga? Um, what did you try and uh, yeah, did you find a job here? I started, uh, I mean, I study civil engineer in Chile. That is quite total different that I'm doing right now. So in the beginning, I started looking for uh, management, uh, like uh, jobs because mm -hmm. I have been doing uh, for years with my company and different other company that I have been working. Makes sense. Uh, then I find that uh, I love the idea of remotely and the uh, e-commerce. Uh, so I'm trying to improve in my skill in that area, like a project manager, uh, about focusing in technology. So I realized that uh, most of the jobs are from... Uh, developer. So uh, I started, started finding a way to learn to code. Then I realized that it's quite very, very hard. But it, if you take the time and you keep going, like uh, I said before, uh, in the beginning, everything is hard. So you need to keep going. And then I find just uh, going to different meetup conferences, uh, trying to find people here because I was new in the city. I need uh, I need to meet more people to hang out or do different things. Then I find a, a person that was a developer, a very senior developer. Um, I asked him if uh, he can help me some with something that I was troubling with in my code. And after a few conversations, he has merged the opportunity to, to work remotely in a company that he was working before. So uh, oh, cool. I started working with him like in December, uh, four, five months ago. Great. So now you can uh, keep going working as a developer. For him? Yeah, I'm working with uh, a team in, in Chicago. I mean, it's a, a company, a worldwide company, that they have a, a office in Vienna and Chicago. Uh, but most of the team work remotely from different parts of different cities. So, I mean, most of the people are from Chicago, but everyone works from their home. So it's like a very remote company. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I used to work there for the five months ago, um, like uh, for front end developer, like uh, implementation of uh, UI and uh, the new page that they are building. Amazing. You, you said you just started to code last year yeah. or around last year. So it's everything is quite fresh in your mind. Yeah. And you uh, can yeah. explain other developers who are maybe uh, watching us how to start. So what did you use? What coding uh, boot camps, for example, did you do a boot camp or what what would you say yeah, uh, is the best start? I don't know what is the best start. I know what's worked for me. Uh, I started doing free courses online. Uh, there are a lot of platforms where where you can start digging in the in the code and uh, try to understand how the the programming world works. What did you use? Uh, Coursera, they have a lot of uh, platform, uh, free. free code camp, the code uh, 
uh, I don't remember exactly the the free course that I did, but was trying to find the different language and objective of the of the program. So I started it with Java and then Python, JavaScript, uh, Go, Ruby, uh, trying to find what technology I want to implement or work with. Um, yes. And then, you started with Java directly. <laughs> no. no, because uh, nice. I, I did Java in, in during university in the beginning of the, my career, oh, but I forgot why. everything from that. So uh, the first idea was, okay, I will start with Java because it's something that I did 12 years ago or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Um, okay, great. Yeah. So yeah, I started again with Java. Then I realized that you need to create all the environment or use different uh, apps to create something. Mm -hmm. Then I start with Python because it's the most common language, uh, easy to use and popular right now. Uh, mm -hmm. It's about uh, handling uh, math equation that I I have to use, used to too because my background in civil engineer mm -hmm. so it was kind very very easy to understand because it's a very high level uh, uh, language that is yes. that means that is very close to the how normal you language. write yeah. exactly, normally write so yeah it's very very easy to understand but um, then i find that most of the job was for uh, web developers. Mm -hmm. So I started digging what is the web developer world is. Mm -hmm. So I find that uh, they are kind of uh, focusing JavaScript. So um, the new trend is that Java, JavaScript is like a taking off everything. Mm -hmm. So you can do everything with JavaScript right now, like yeah. uh, work in the back end, yeah. work with uh, web apps. Uh, you can go nat uh, native to uh, yeah. For example, mobiles. we at uh, Talent Monkey are also developing everything in JavaScript. I try to go all in with JavaScript and mm -hmm. running the basic of uh, HTML and CSS to understand what I'm doing right now. And then I find the start learning more deeply uh, JavaScript. Are you also working as a front-end developer right now in the company? Yeah, yeah. My com my job is right now is like uh, mm -hmm. implement the different uh, the the framework that they are building. They they the company have a, a their own uh, framework. So mm -hmm. what I do right now is like uh, using the framework to build different page and actions and pop-ups and different thing that you trigger after you click the different. Uh, optional buttons in, in the page. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I started le learning how to learn JavaScript and find new courses. I found a new platform uh, for Latin American uh, in Spanish. Mm -hmm. That is uh, Platzi. Everything is good in that platform. The, <laughs> so yeah, coding is hard. It's something that everyone says, but when you start doing that, is you realize that it's harder that can, you can explain so it's a mental framework that need to change a lot so it's very ab ab abstract things yeah. so it's hard to code it's very very hard to code yeah. so that is why so demanding and so mm -hmm. let people doing that everybody has to start huh? yeah <laughs> and you can yeah it's the way to if you are a designer you can show your design but if you are a developer, you need to show your code. Mm -hmm. So the only way to show the people, of the rest of the people, you what are you doing or you what you are capable to do, is uh, creating things that show is in, yeah. in GitHub on different platform. Yeah. How do you work together in a team? Because you said before that you are working fully remotely. So mm -hmm. obviously also before Corona, you have been in your home and uh, working together. So what are your tools? What are you using to stay productive uh, in the to, team? Yeah, to work in, the, in this company, I use 
uh, to use uh, Jira. This uh, a platform where you track the, the activities and the, the mm -hmm. task that you need to achieve. So we have an everyday meeting, like uh, very early for America, like at 9 a.m. Yeah, we have a daily meeting that when you can show the activity that did before and what is the expecting for uh, this day. Uh, we have a uh, different uh, Zoom rooms where we can go to if you to need something of someone. So can you tell me in general, what are the pros and cons for you about remote work? Uh, for work remotely, um, the pros are that when you start working with a asynchronous task, uh, you can choose wherever you want to, when to do that. So you can do different things in different time sketch. That is a very good thing. But the cons is like uh, you don't connect with people like uh, being in the same space. So human interaction is like uh, the cons. Yeah. We are, for example, having, uh, we are um, talking in Slack a lot and having also our meetups in, in Zoom and uh, in via Slack. We are organizing ourselves like that, that we have the official channels, but we have a channel for memes and we have another channel to say and that's cool. hello and goodbye and whatever we want to uh, share in between, like what we cooked or whatever, so that you from the beginning have a feeling, okay, I'm part of your life a little bit. And Depends of the company, but uh, all the culture of the company, that's the important thing. Yeah. Um, um, what has been your favorite project so far? I always wanted to ask you about that because you have been doing so many different things until now. Yeah. And I would like to know what experience was best mm -hmm. And why? The best experience was when I discovered the, the Shopify app and the, the, the way to sell things online. They open uh, the mind, open your mind to do totally different things and you can handle different options. It's a new way to see the world, I think, that when, mm -hmm. when you can uh, reach uh, millions of people with your products. And that is one of the reasons I want to uh, learn to code because I want to build products to people that can be reached for millions. So the software is like uh, one of the biggest things that can impact thousands or millions of people at once. Makes sense. And in the company, uh, yeah, at least you are learning on a daily basis in the in yeah, one because, area. Yeah, uh, because every day I need to do something that I don't know. So I need Amazing. to <laughs> find how to do that. Or if I, I spend weeks trying to solve that I can't, I can just ask him to the, the, the developer that built in the framework. So um, they say, oh yeah, it's very easy. We can do it in five minutes. And okay, fine. And a lot of dots and this, that, this, that, that, I like a function that they sure. never heard. So. What was the last big aha moment? Like, oh, <laughs> I never saw this. Uh, he built a framework. So I need, for example, I need to make uh, 10 functions to do something, but he built the framework in three lines. I don't know, or something like that, because they know everything about the, the, <laughs> the code. So Oh no, it's, don't worry, you need to do this, that data, that, uh, I don't know, like a uh, function inside of this, um, it's done. <laughs> but, uh, only two lines to do the thing I tried to do in 15. 15? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and, and do you the, have the mind don't, doesn't work, so. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have a tutorial? Hint for that uh, to improve your uh, skills in the yeah amount of uh, coding lines as well because lately yeah. our developer told us as well about it that he is improving daily right now from writing too much 
coding lines into a very clean code. In the yeah, end. that because uh, be the by, in the end of the day, you most of the time you are reading your code. So That's you why. need to read uh, something that you can understand. So that is the idea of building uh, good code. So for me, when I try to do something that I don't know, I start like uh, Googling yeah. the, the different answer. And then I go to the docs uh, documental website to jump of JavaScript. Uh, then I go to some tutorial and some article in, in Medium or different uh, pages uh, where the people uh, upload different tutorials. So on YouTube, wherever I can find it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to understand what they do, trying to replicate in my my site to mm -hmm. to see if they, that works or not, or what is the, the the asking function that they can do. Yeah, I I think what what I know for myself, being a developer is a lot about structuring yourself in research. Uh, that's for me, that's... sometimes I'm also in the flow and I just yeah. can't stop because I can find out something new and I'm just uh, yeah developing something, creating something, and it's like. Yeah, but uh, you need to uh, stop and <laughs> take a break some, uh, from that sometimes. Yeah, definitely. So we will take a break from our call right now. <laughs> okay. But I can say thank you, Martin, for your time. Thank you to you. It was, was amazing um, to get to know your story and uh, I think it's also something in especially for junior developers to know how to do the first steps into this yeah. career and how it's possible for example via meetups you said you, go, you went outside you were chatting with people to find the first remote job finally so thank you and have a great you. evening. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.